It looks like Rick Ware Racing is starting to announce more of their drivers that they will have for the 2021 season. And Thor Sport looks like they will be switching manufacturers for the 2021 NASCAR Ganner or well, NASCAR Camper World Truck Series season. What's going on, guys? It's Daniel, and welcome back to our video. We've got a lot of NASCAR stories to discuss here on the channel, and we're also going to talk about the Chili Bowl as well. Let's go ahead and just jump straight into it. The first story we're going to talk about is over the weekend, Fox Sports unveiled the first elements of its 2021 NASCAR marketing campaign called The Best Season Ever. The 60-second second is based around how much change there is in NASCAR. It was aired during the Packers and Rams NFC Championship game, well, NFC Divisional game, and I have to say that the commercial does a really good justification for uh, what is going to be happening, all the changes. And I think the, one of my favorite parts is when Nick Kyle Busch was on and said, I'm just here so I don't get fined. I think Fox Sports did a really good job. It's way better than Daytona Day commercial. Um, they probably will be airing a lot more commercials coming out. If that's the first commercial that they're going to do, I can't wait to see what Fox Sports is overall uh, going to do for 2021, especially with all their commercials that they are releasing. It looks really, really awesome. And I can't wait to see more commercials from the Fox Sports team going forward in 2021. On to the next story. It is expected that James Davidson is going to return to Rick Burr Racing in the 2021 NASCAR Cup Series season. He will not be, it looks like, running full-time for the season, but it looks like he's expected to run two-thirds of the 2021 season, and he may be racing in this year's Daytona 500. James Davidson, for a lot of the 2021 season, ran for the Rick Burr Racing organization, so it doesn't surprise me one bit that he would be expected to return to the team. And it's also possible that James Davison may be running the Indianapolis 500 as well with the partnership from the Dale Quinn Racing Organization and the Rick Ware Racing Organization as well. I think James Davison actually had overall surprisingly had a good year in Rick Ware Racing. Yes, he didn't perform fantastic, but he kept the car pretty clean in one place. It didn't cause a lot of incidents, you know. For a guy that really doesn't have a lot of oval experience, guys used to be racing on road courses, running on ovals. He didn't do too bad for his first start. You can't expect the guys driving for Rick Ware Racing to really perform that great, especially since those cars generally don't run up past top 30. So you can't really expect too much from a guy like James Davison to do well with that organization. But if he's going to be coming back and run Daytona, he might probably end up getting one of those cars. I'm not sure yet. We'll have to see. He will be getting one of the charter cars and off of Rick or Racing. But regardless, I think it's really cool that James Davison is going to be returning to Rick or Racing at some point and running most of the season in 2021. On to the next story. It might be expected that Tommy Baldwin is still trying to find a car for the Daytona 500 and it has not been announced if he will be racing or not. But he is looking at still trying to race at the Daytona 500 this upcoming season. Tommy Baldwin has been very, very quiet this offseason. We didn't know yet or not if Tommy Baldwin is going to race, but Tommy Baldwin recently spoke with Bob Pockers during the Chili Bowl weekend, and he said that he is still looking to try to get a car out for Daytona 500. Tommy Baldwin usually runs Daytona. It shouldn't be a surprise. He actually came back this past year when COVID was lifted. He came back and raced at Darlington earlier this year, and the driver they had was Josh Blinky. So, if Tommy Baldwin is expected to go to Daytona 500, I'm going to assume that unless Josh Boogie goes in a 77 car for Daytona or goes in one of the Rick Ware racing cars, I would assume that he would that Josh Boogie would end up being the driver or maybe resorts because those were the two drivers that generally ran most of the year with Tommy Baldwin. It would end up being the number 71 car because the number 7 car that they had last year is going over to Corey Joy. is going to be Aspire Motorsports this upcoming season. So... I expect that Tommy Ball will probably end up showing up if they do end up finding a car. And if that's the case, I think Josh Blinken will end up being the driver in that car for the 2021 season. On to the next thing. We're actually going to talk about the Chili Bowl Nationals from this past weekend. So Kyle Larson uh, ended up winning this year's Chili Bowl. Kyle Larson ended up leading most of the laps throughout the night. But I'll tell you what, even though he led pretty much every single lap in this race, Larson had the whole awesome hard charters from Justin Grant and Chris Revelle. Justin Grant, in the beginning of the race, looked like he had the best car overall at the beginning of the race. But as the night went on, and once the high line really came in, there was really no competition for Larson. And then, Larson, of course, ended up making a couple mistakes within 10 laps at two bobbles, and Chris Revelle ended up getting around Justin Grant at the end of the race. But then coming to around three or four laps to go in the race, Chris Revelle ended up tumbling over eight or nine times coming down the front stretch, coming around three laps to go. And that hurt Bell's opportunity of going out and it killed Bell's chances. Then he also doing restart. Justin Grant and sent it in there because he really didn't think he had a shot of winning race. So he sent it in there and hit a dirt bank and came back down. I think it hit Tanner Thorson. And then Thorson clobbered uh, Tyler Courtney, 
who was a teammate of Justin Grant and, Ju and Tyler Corden ended up flipping eight or nine times as well. On the ensuing race, our Kyle Larson pulled away from Tanner Thorson and uh, Justin Grant and was able to hold on and win his second straight Chili Bowl Nationals. I'll be honest, I thought Chris Rebell was going to win the race, truly, because he was really, really good on Tuesday night. Um, but Larson had a better car. Once that high line came in, Larson was really untouchable. But I think this year for Kyle Larson, especially, I think we're going to be seeing something really, really special because Kyle Larson has a lot to prove, especially coming back to the Cup. He was so strong in the dirt. The question is, how will he perform in 2020 in the Cup Series is a big question. But, man, it was really cool to watch. I really enjoyed every race. Even though Larson led every lap, there really wasn't that much passing for the lead. I thought the racing was really, really cool. I thought Grant really was going to get him early in the race and win because I thought Grant had a better car than Larson because, like I said, Larson's car was not that good in the beginning of the race. But once the high line came in and Larson's car was set up for the high line, which he's really, really good on the high line, there was really no touching uh, Kyle Larson. And Larson was able to go back-to-back -back in the Chili Bowl. So huge congratulations, Kyle Larson, and going back-to-back. -back. And just something interesting to note, the last five races have either been won by Chris Rebell or Kyle Larson. So if you're going to want to beat those, you want to win the Chili Bowl. If you're not those two names, you're going to have to beat Chris Rebell and Kyle Larson to win the Chili Bowl Nationals. But... Anyway, congratulations, Kyle Larson, on winning his second straight Chili Bowl Nationals in 2021. On to the next story. It looks like Henderson Motorsports is going to be competing at least four of the first five races for the 2021 NASCAR Camping World Truck Series season. Parker Kligerman is expected to run the season over, which this will be the first time that Henderson Motorsports has ran the Truck Series opener or attempted to go into the Truck Series opener since the 2018 NASCAR Truck Series season. And Sam Mayer is going to be running the Daytona World Course, which will be the first of seven races that Sam Mayer is expected to race in in the 2021 Truck Series season. I think it makes a ton of sense that Sam Mayer is getting some experience, you know, in the Truck Series. Because until, you know, if it wasn't for running the Truck Series or the Arca Series um, later, because so, he's going to run a four or five races with Brett Holmes. Sam Mayer was not going to have a ton of experience before going to the Xfinity Series, and he was going to be at a major disadvantage. So the fact that more Chevy teams are having Sam Mayer race with some of these other organizations and get some experience score to Spinney, that's going to really help Sam Mayer out in the long run. Yes, he's not running the full season of the Truck Series, but it is going to help him overall going into 2020 when he goes up to Xfinity run for Junior Motorsports for the second half of the year. Um, what are my expectations? Again, they are looking at evaluating, so if they do well enough, they might end up running a majority of the season. So Hopefully Sam Mayer and Parker Clerk can do really well for the Henderson Motorsports organization. But it is really cool that Henderson Motorsports is going to be running at least a certain amount of races for the 2021 season. And now we're getting on to the next story of this episode. As it was announced late last night that Cody Vanderwall will not be returning to Jimmy Means Racing in the 2021 NASCAR Xfinity Series season. And the big issue was sponsorship. Cody Vanderwall, I think, is a very okay driver. He did okay with this organization. Yes, he didn't run up front with the team. But again, this Jimmy Means Racing organization has never really been a top-tier team. They've usually kind of ran in the back most weekends. And it was no surprise that Cody Vanderwall kind of struggled with the team. He did all well, did the best he could with what he had. So I hope Cody Vanderwall can overall find a ride for the 2021 NASCAR Xfinity Series season or somewhere else in NASCAR. So I think he truly deserves to have another opportunity in NASCAR. But... Hopefully 2021 Cody Vanderwalk is something. Now, I've heard rumors that there is a certain big driver that might be going there in 2021. So rumors are circulating maybe Natalie Decker. Apparently someone that was very surprised that's going to be going there. Probably Natalie Decker. I've heard her name kind of thrown in the loop for possibly to go to Virginia Man's Racing, which I don't think she's going to do very well if she goes there over there. Maybe it's a past champion for all I know, someone that we're not even thinking of. But a lot of people keep thinking it's constantly going to be Natalie Decker who's going to be taking over the Jim Means racing car in 2021. But hopefully Cody Vanderwall can find something well, and hopefully someone very solid can take over the Jim Means racing car in the 2021 NASCAR Xfinity Series season. And now we're getting on to the next story of this episode, as Freight Auctions is going to be sponsoring Michael McDowell for six races in the 2021 NASCAR Cup Series season. They will sponsor him at the Daytona Road Course in the first Atlanta race, then Martinsville, Darlington for the, th for the throwback weekend, the Coca-Cola 600, and the second Atlanta date. Carl Roll looks really cool. At least it's good to know that they're at least going to be sponsored by Mike Modell for six races, especially since it's being rumored that Loves, K Loves, is, or whatever company is, is not going to be sponsoring uh, the 34 team in 2021. So hopefully they can find more sponsors by Michael Modell, but it's really cool at least that Freight Auctions is going to continue sponsoring Michael McDowell in the 2021 NASCAR Cup Series season. 
And now we're getting on to the next story of this episode. As Blaine Perkins is going to be going to our motorsports in 2021 in the 03 car for six races in 2021. It is expected that this, it will be split between three drivers, Blaine Perkins, who will drive six races, Patrick Emerling, and Tyler Reddick, who will drive in the season opener for that 03 team in 2021. Blaine Perkins, for those of you who do not know, is actually this past year race for the number nine for Sunrise Sport and actually scored three or four victories in the Arca West Series in the 2020 season. They actually finished second in runner-up in the championship to Jesse Love and ended up winning the championship in 2020. And Blaine Perkins had a pretty solid year. A lot of people thought that Blaine Perkins was probably going to go back to Arca. But I think Blaine Perkins has a really cool opportunity here to drive for this team in 2020. I think he's shown what he can do in the Arca West. I know that the Arca West Series is not that really competitive. But in all honesty... I think that Blaine Perkins has a lot of potential and a lot to give. And I think in 2021, I think we're going to see a lot of good things from Blaine Perkins in the six race he runs. Again, I, th I think the goal for this team is they're going to try to finish at least top 20 and in as many races as possible or touch top 25 for a small organization. They're going to be a full-time team. So there might be more drivers announced, though it is expected the three drivers that will drive this team are Blaine Perkins, Patrick Emberling, and it will also be Tyler Reddick in the season opener. So really cool opportunity for Blaine Perkins. Hopefully he can do well in the six races. And maybe in the future, 2022, or some other time, he can get some good opportunities with some more great organizations headed into the 2021 season. And now we're getting on to the next story of this episode as Thor Sport, and it's the first major story of the episode, as Thor Sport has parted ways from Ford heading into 2021 season. Now, there is a little bit of confusion regarding Thor Sport racing heading in 2021, as this is literally a month away from the season opener. For the truck series, we're literally less than a month away, as a matter of fact. We're like 23 or 24 days from the Daytona Truck Series opener. So it's kind of surprising. But there were rumors circling that Thor Sport was going to be leaving to go to another manufacturer headed into 2021. The rumored manufacturer that Thor Sport is ex possibly expected to go to is currently is Toyota. I know people brought up Chevy, but a lot of people are reporting that it's probably going to end up being Toyota Clean by Pockers is reporting that they're expected to be going back to Toyota. Another thing to note is their driver lineup is still not 100% confirmed. Now, Bob Pockers had reported originally back in December and November that they were probably not going to be changing up their lineup. They're expected to keep the same lineup. But now there are rumors circulating that there might be a new driver going over to Thor Sport Racing in 2021. That driver I've heard is Christian Eckes. Now, Christian Eckes recently was asked a question, I think, or something like that. And he got, actually, I think he ended up liking a tweet on Twitter. Basically, someone said maybe Christian Eckes is going to go over to Thor Sport. And then a lot of people were like, like, what? Christian Eckes to Thor Sport? Considering Ben Rhodes is the driver. I wonder if Ben Rhodes is coming back or not because Matt Noyce is not going to no longer be the crew chief for one of the Thor Sport racing cars. But yeah. I'll be honest, I'm a little bit surprised about them switching over from Ford to Toyota, especially this really close to season. And now the big question is, which kind of bigger team is going to go over to Ford for the Truck Series, series now? Because there is going to be no strong Ford team for the Truck Series in 2020 because now it's expected that only Jennifer Joe Cobb Racing and some other organization is only going to be driving Fords in 2021. So I'm wondering if maybe like Nice Motorsports is going to go over there in 2020. I really don't know, but... Honestly, I'm really, really surprised that they're switching over to Ford in 2021 because oh, well, they're switching from Ford over probably Toyota. I know the Chevy's more brought up, but I think they're going to be switching over to uh, Toyota in 2021. But it's really interesting they're going to be switching over uh, to another manufacturer in 2020, especially this late in the offseason. But it's very intriguing. Hopefully, if they do go back to Toyota, because again, they, a lot of people think they're going back because the Ilmore engines, but everyone has to run an Ilmore engine, and they've struggled with the Ilmore engines. And I think it makes a lot more sense, though, for the Thor Sport organization. Because they were a lot stronger with the Toyota brands than they were with the Ford brand. I mean, they had one or two of their guys not make the playoffs in 2020. So hopefully in 2021 they can improve and maybe all four of their guys can make the playoffs going into the 2021 season. And now we're getting on to the final major story of this episode. As it was announced this morning that Cody Ware is going to be going full-time with Rick Ware Racing in the 2021 season. Driving the number 51 car in 2021. And he will have Nerd Tech. ODT as a sponsor for 2021. Cody Ware, for those who don't know, is the son of Rick Ware, so it's no surprise that Cody Ware is going to be going full-time with this organization in 2021. Cody Ware actually came back to the NASCAR Xfinity Series in 2020 after not racing for like two years. Last time he raced for 2020 at the Charlotte Roval was back in 2018. He's been racing over in uh, Le Mans, in the uh, Asian Le Mans Series 
for that organization where the Rick Ware is partnered up with an Asian organization over there. So he's been over there running road courses and then finishing top 10. So I think Cody Ware is a pretty talented driver. I think Cody Ware is a very solid driver, and I think he can do some pretty good things. I think he's improved over the last couple of years. It is really cool that Cody Ware is getting this opportunity for 2021. It looks like we're starting to get really close to knowing pretty much most of the majority of the lineup for the NASCAR Cup Series headed into 2021. We're starting to hear what's going on with Rick Ware Racing. I mean, we've got other drivers maybe in the line. We now know that Joey Gase is going to be over in that organization in 2021. We know also now that James Davison is expected to run two-thirds here. And we now know that Cody Ware is going to be going full-time with this team. I'm wondering if Rick Ware is going to be doing like a daily announcements for like every single day. He's going to be announcing their drivers. And then we'll probably know a majority of the lineup going into 2021. But it's also really cool that Cody Ware is getting this opportunity to go full-time. I think Cody Ware could do some great things with this team. I think overall Cody Ware's goal, he'll go full-time. So he'll be going full-time for the points as well. I think Cody Ware could have a shot at top 35 in points this year again. There's a lot of competitive cars, though, in the NASCAR Cup Series this year. The most competition, in my opinion, that we've ever had. And a lot of talent as well going into 2021. So I think Cody Ware, overall, his goal is to try to finish top 20. Well, not top 20. Top 30 in the standings. That would be like a really, really high-end goal. But top 35, I think, is realistically where they're going to end up finishing in the points. I could definitely maybe see some top 25s and top 30s for sure for this team. I do think that they'll have a decent average finish, especially with Cody Ware. But... It is really cool that Cody Ware is getting this opportunity to go full-time with him in 2020. And hopefully, Cody Ware can form really well and help Rick Ware Racing continue to prove as an organization. Because Rick Ware Racing does want to compete, be competitive in 2021. And we'll hopefully see what happens with that team going forward in the 2021 season. So, anyway, that is going to be for today's NASCAR news video. I want to thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe to the channel. Turn notifications so you can be notified when a video does go live on my channel. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, and support me on Patreon as well. Link description below for that. And comment about your thoughts on today's video. What are your expectations for Cody We're heading in 2020? Do you think he's going to perform better than the Rick Ware Racing cars have generally performed? Or do you think he's going to struggle with Rick Ware Racing in 2021? Let me know in the comments below. And what are your thoughts about Thor Sport Racing switching this close to the start of the truck series season from Ford to Toyota? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you do like so YouTube can recommend more of these great videos out to you guys. If you do that, I would greatly appreciate it. Anyway, like I said, I want to thank you guys for watching today's video. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care, everybody.